Because of addiction issues at the Deschutes County Jail, it's looking to hire nurses to work with inmates. Bola Badabo has a look at plans for the program. The county wants to hire two nurses for a medication-assisted treatment program. They'd like to start in March, but the nursing shortage may delay that. Around the United States, overdose deaths um, and overdoses are occurring in every part of the criminal justice system. As we grow through this problem, uh, law enforcement agencies have to find a way to adapt. As a means to do just that, the Deschutes County Jail is making a change from traditional law enforcement with plans to carry out a program combining medication and counseling in the jail. What we'd like to see happen is the minute they come into the jail, after the contact with law enforcement, we ask them if they're addicted and if they want help. And that's our goal. If they want help, we want to start them immediately. The program would use Suboxone, known for treating opioid addictions, as the medication. The jail is in partnership with Ideal Option, which received funding from Measure 110, designed to decriminalize hard drugs. We know drugs are being smuggled in the jail, and we have to be very diligent, whether it's marijuana, methamphetamine, it's all being laced with fentanyl. And that's the danger, because fentanyl will kill you. That's why we do path searches, strip searches, uh, cell searches, constantly searching uh, to be able to weed this out. The Deschutes County Sheriff's Office is also focused on release planning to help those who want to continue the program once they're out of jail. Because not everybody stays with us. Length of stay in the jail is like 12 days. The program is phase two of the jail's plan to reduce the growing drug problem. Phase one was Operation Guardian Angel, which started about a year ago. A trained deputy on patrol works to identify those addicted to drugs and get them assistance. With the changes, Schultz expects to see fewer overdoses, a lower arrest rate, and fewer court order violations for those on probation. Our goal is the same as everybody else's. We'd like to reduce crime for a safe livability community. Schultz says this is a multi-agency approach to help those individuals who seek it. Once the nurses are hired, they will assess inmates to determine if they're fit for the program. Bola Baribo, News Channel 21.